Here with Johnny Davis, the Toronto Raptors coaching staff. Now, I want to talk about your point guard situation now. You've got three point guards, two of them kind of similar, of course, but there are different styles between all of them. How do you guys address the sets when you have different guys in the game? Well, they all have very unique skills. Uh, Kyle Lowry is, is more of an attacking, penetrating, uh, tenacious type guy. Um, Jose is, is more of a, a disciplined, organized, let's have order here type player. And John Lucas is a catalyst. When he comes in, he's making a lot of things happen right away. And you need all three. And it depends on what's taking place in the game which is what will determine which one of those players you need. So it's really a luxury for us. Okay, now do you change the sets you call when you have different guys in, or is it that they have a different way of attacking through each set themselves? Yes, yeah, some, some guys, or, or for example, we know that Jose is very good in pick and rolls. So when he's in the game, we'll go to our pick and roll package a little bit more. We know that John Lucas is very good at shooting at basketball. So when he's in the game, we'll play him off the ball a little bit more and have him coming off screen so he can look to shoot. Uh, when Kyle's in the game, we look to also do a little bit more in transition. So depending on who's in the game and at what point and at, and at what point in the game we need certain things, that's the guy that we call upon. All right, now moving over to the other guard positions, of course, you've got Terrence and you've got DeMar. I want to talk about Terrence for a little bit. Your expectations for him, I know you guys are big on roll cards, great shooter, very surprisingly athletic. What are your expectations for him? And is it a 2-3 conversation, or does it matter where he plays? I think uh, Terrence right now is, is primarily a 2, but I think he'll be able to emerge into a, a, a very good 2-3. Uh, you mentioned his ability to shoot. He really can shoot the ball, and he has great range on his shot. Very athletic uh, and, and has an ability to be a great defender as well. Of course, with any young player, you've got to give him a learning curve. You've got to give him an opportunity to gain experience. But uh, you'll see Terrence, he'll be around for a long time, and he'll give us, give us some immediate help this year. Now, for DeMar, of course, it's crunch time for him this year, contract year for him. What are your expectations out of him and his growth, and do you expect to see more in the post? Well, we've seen a lot of that this year. Uh, so far in the preseason, he's really done some great work uh, inside posting up. We want to get him in transition. Uh, contract year for him, yes, but more importantly, it, it's another year development for him, another year for him to get better, and he's shown some real signs of, of, of being that, that type of guard that you can rely on who gives it to you consistently night in and night out.